Thank you, Stephanie. Currently, you'll find about 17,000 food places regulated by the Southern Nevada Health District, along with a growing number of food manufacturing plants. That's a far cry from the roughly 500 restaurants 50 years ago. Speaking of the kitchens, and you might be interested that we encountered the, some, <laughs> the one hotel that had sort of a, its own infamous history. Um, and I ended up issuing them, uh, oh, asking them to appear with several of my board members to explain why things were in such a mess. And the people that appeared were a cook and a busboy. This was a major hotel casino. And we issued them an ultimatum that we would close the kitchen on Monday if it wasn't remedied. And then they brought in some crew from LA to help put it in order. But indeed, this reflected a pretty a bit of Wild West history of Las Vegas and how business was done. In Dr. Ravenholt's day, it was a full-time job for his small group of food inspectors to stay ahead of the restaurants and cafes in the valley, establish regulations to govern them, and get them to play by the rules. Over the decades, however, restaurant inspection and food handler certification has changed from a cat and mouse game with regulators into one of teamwork focused on safe and successful food establishments. As a matter of fact, many times over the years I have been involved in, uh, and everybody in environmental health uh, nearly has been involved in the writing of regulations, uh, uh, been up to Carson City numerous times, uh, literally, I think why they uh, going back and forth with uh, lawmakers coming out in the lobby and saying, okay, this is what was proposed, what do you suggest? And we'd be write something on the fly and they'd go back in and propose it um, in, in an attempt to, to change the law. Now, the way things are regulated in, in Clark County because of uh, the kind of industry we have here and the innovative things that go on here, um, we have a different set of regulations and, um, than the state does. First of all, we try to seek collaboration and uh, cooperation from, from again, all the different groups that we work with. And of course it's better to uh, be able to get that uh, so people can bring in their ideas and try to find that middle ground which everyone can be satisfied with the results. But again also the understanding that we're also trying to protect public health and the environment. We have a different set of needs, yes. <laughs> so uh, some things that might fit um, for the state don't fit for us, so we have to, we've had to um, adjust to that uh, through our regulation. Our regulation is much uh, closer to, uh, now the 2010 regulation is much closer to um, the food code uh, than it is to the previous state regulations. Uh, it's also shifted, major shift in the 2010 regulation from um, a, as you may have, uh, might want to put it, a, a sort of a gotcha where it's it's us regulating them. It's shifted to uh, we're monitoring your active managerial control of your food establishment. What that means is it's the restaurant owners themselves who take responsibility for the way food is handled in their facility through education, written procedures, and interactive follow-up. So they put in active managerial control. In other words, management's controlling what's happening with the food and the flow of food through their food establishment. And all we really have to do is go in and say, hey, you're doing a great job. Obviously, over the past half century, you'll see more than a few changes to the way in which food inspections are conducted. The level of training of the inspectors, the handling of inspection paperwork, even food handler training itself. As recently as the 1990s, Klaus recalls it was still wild here in the Wild West. It was still pretty cowboy <laughs> when I got here. Um, uh, we received a couple of months of training, uh, on-the-job training, going out with another inspector. Now things are uh, obviously changing. We've got a, a new computer system uh, that's, an, that's an, basically an online inspection system. The inspection process has gone much more high-tech. So have the inspection reports. They're now available to the public simply on our website. Food handler card training is now provided online and restaurant management is very definitely not run like grandma's kitchen anymore. As a matter of fact, we, there, uh, we have a number of uh, food facilities out there now uh, that are on cutting edge where the staff 
have to put in, they have to log in and put in uh, cooling times and things, and it will automatically go onto a computer um, program that they can view remotely. The corporate or the executives can actually pull up on their iPhone and look and see, oh yeah, they made those checks, they're keeping control of what's going on. Improved management control means fewer customers getting ill, less wasted food, and far fewer issues with health inspections. Everyone wins.